DJ Pro Playlist Organization Tutorial. I'm DJ Spiegelspin and I'm going to show you. I say it in all of my videos that playlists are the most important part of becoming a successful DJ. So if you just show up to the gigs without having playlists planned out, you are going to be really stressed out and it's going to be really hard to find songs to play even if you use streaming services and i know this for a fact because that's exactly what i did when i first started djing i would just show up with my ipad log into my streaming service and then try to go one song at a time and it was horrible it made me look very unprofessional and i was stressed out the whole time so in this video i'm going to show you some really cool and really unique ideas of how to set up your playlist and if you guys like the ideas you could use some if you don't like some you don't have to use them all also let me know in the comments if i missed anything or if you agree or disagree with anything but let's get started so the first playlist that we're going to make is going to be called the decades we're going to do the 70s the 80s the 90s and 2000s and we're going to these playlists are going to be organized by the decades so when you're doing a gig it's a good idea to know the age range of the people that are going to be there so if you're doing like a 50th birthday party a good rule of thumb is to go back to the era where the 50 year old 50 year old person was about you know 18 to 25 because that's when people music really had the most influence on people when they were going out with their friends going to the clubs going to the bars and stuff so when they hear songs from that era they're going to appreciate it they're going to dance and then it's going to bring back the memories of them being young and going out with their friends so to get started what you do is this is what the screen will look like when you first start dj pro you go over here to the music button press it once don't hold it in if you hold it in you will get access to eject and the scratch the tool and the scratch tools and then you will be able to double the track but we're not talking about that in this video so now you're going to see your sources so these are all the current sources that you could use with dj pro they have the featured which is just preloaded songs so you guys could practice and stuff like that music is the music that's on your ipad it is not your apple music streaming service playlist it's just music that is in your on natively downloaded on your device title is the streaming service that i use it's the i would think it's the best streaming service that you could use with this app so that's the one i use and then you got soundcloud a beat for beat source and then videos and files so to make your own custom playlist we're going to click here on my collections so now these are your custom playlists so then if you look at my where my mouse is if you press the plus button right here you can you could add a playlist a smart playlist or a playlist folder what we are going to do is we're going to do a playlist folder basically that means we could have playlist inside a playlist inside a playlist and instead of it looking really hard to really unorganized with all of these playlists especially if you guys are starting fresh from making playlists it's going to make it so much easier to go through it so you press the plus playlist folder and we are going to call this decades i'm not sure if i spelled that right but it's fine Remember to organize these playlists so that it is easy for you to see, easy for you to understand, because no one else is really going to see or use these playlists. These are for you to make your DJing easier and more professional. So now we made the playlist and it brings it all the way down to the list. If you want to adjust where it is on the list, you just hold on to it. And now to bring it up, you put it towards the top and then it'll start moving. See that? Now it's going to be our first playlist so now we have decades so now it's going to ask us when we click it to new playlist so we are going to add a playlist another playlist folder because not only are we going to add the decades but we're going to add different types of music in those decades so we go to playlist folder and then let's just start with the 90s so i'm just going to do the 90s and the 2000s if you guys want you could go all the way back to the 70s 60s whatever you feel comfortable but it's the same basic principle so 90s this is going to be the 90s add so that's the 90s and then now we could add a new playlist in there if we click it and then we're going to press plus and then we are going to add another playlist folder for the 2000s. So there we go, from the 2000s. 
right there. So now if we go over here, let's just go to a streaming service. That's in the music. Now we're going to go to my collection, decades. Now we got the 90s and the 2000s. And you can move them and adjust them. Actually, you can't move them, but that's fine. So we got. So just make sure when you do it, you do it in order. Don't go from 90s, 2000s, and then back to the 70s because this will happen. And we got the 70s. Now the 70s is always going to be down there. And I, oh wait. Yeah, so you can change it, so it doesn't really matter. And then to delete it, you just slide it over to the left and you could delete it. So now we got our, our 90s and our 2000s. So now in them, there's nothing. You just have the option to make a new playlist. So 90s, we are going to add add a playlist. We're not doing a playlist folder. We're just adding a regular playlist. And then we're going to do rap or if you want to do hip hop. Okay, so we are going to do hip hop as the first one. So hip hop add. And then next we are going to do, we'll do dance. And then next we will do, for example, techno. So now if we look at this playlist, we go over here, we go to decades, 90s. So let's say you're doing a party and you think these people are going to like stuff from the 90s. We click on 90s. Now we got hip hop, dance, and techno. So if you click into one of these, you'll see that there's no songs. So if we go over here to add songs, you could add it from library. And then you could add these songs from any of your library. So I have over here, we could do, I already have one for the 2000s. So if we go over here, 2000s dance, and then you could add these songs by just pressing add and then done and now these songs will be there and then if you want to if you want to delete them you just could slide them over and delete them but with that you'll only be able to get songs from your playlist that you've made into your sources it won't be every song in the world from your streaming service so if you go to title now you could search let's say tribe called Trap called Quest. And then you could add all these songs. So you could take it, go over here, you find the song you want from the 90s hip hop, add to playlist. And then now we're going to go to our decades right here, 90s hip hop, and it's added. So now if we switch out, press cancel go back to my collections decades 90s hip-hop and then our songs there so you guys could build these playlists with all of the hip-hop songs that you would play from the 90s all of the dance songs that you play from the 90s and then all of the techno songs that you play from the 90s and then all of this will be set up for the 90s and then we have the 2000s and then you could do the 60s the 70s and you will have all of your decades ready to go. And this is a great way to mix because people like songs from when they were cool and when they went out and started DJing. Now, another way to organize our playlist, which I definitely recommend to do, even if you have all of these decades and all of these pre-made playlists, is to do a specific playlist for the gig that you're doing. So you go over here, plus, and we're gonna do playlist, just a regular playlist. And then let's say we're doing Bob's Wedding. Bob's Wedding. So now we got Bob's Wedding. I'm just going to add random songs for an example. Boom, 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 boom. Done. I just added the random songs so you could see this. So now you have four songs and it's 13 minutes. So let's say the wedding you're supposed to DJ for five hours always have double what it's going to be so you have options and you don't have to play the same exact songs so if it's a five hour playlist add songs until it says 10 minutes over here and then inside these playlists you could organize them by bpm key album artist i usually do it by the bpm so i could play songs in similar bpm so they mix well together 
Now, another playlist that I definitely recommend you doing is going to be a sound effects one. So where did I put these? So if you look over here, this is sound effects, and this is a playlist folder, just like I taught you with the decades. You click in it, and then we have scratching. So these are all the tools that you'd be using for scratching, scratch samples, beats and stuff to scratch with. And then we have surprise. This is for a surprise party. We got the crowd applauding. And there we go. And then the next one in the sound effects is the intro. So I taught you guys in many videos how to make your custom intro. So add that in here. And then I also have stuff like the, the crowd applause and then a countdown from 10. And it just makes it really easy to not have to search for these things to go into your playlist and see, we got the decades, we got sound effects, we got instruments. So with instruments, I have some of my wordplay combos, I have police sirens, I have the dog barking, and then you guys could have all of the instruments, whether you want to save it as instruments or save it as sound effects, it's up to you. Remember what I said, this is for you, for your mind, it doesn't have to make sense to anyone else. So if this helped you, if it's gonna make your DJing better, please give this video a like. And if you wanna learn more about DJing on the iPad and DJing with DJ Pro and different ways of thinking about DJing, subscribe to my channel. I make DJ videos every day.